This is the story of the fifth emperor of Western Han Dynasty, Emperor Wu of Han. He was the longest serving monarch in Han Dynasty. He was conferred as the crown prince when he was seven and became the emperor when he was sixteen after his father, Emperor Jing, died. Western Han was under his rule for 52 years until his death at age 71. His idealistic mind of ruling was completely different from any of his ancestors. He does not believe in the country's economic so much as its dignity and military forces. Emperor Wu made several outstanding achievements under his reign. He conquered the Huns, which is the greatest enemy of the empire, Korea, and Vietnam. He also sent an ambassador named Zhang Tian to open up the Silk Road into western regions for international trade. What makes him believe a country's dignity is much more important than its economic. The story has to begin in his childhood, when he evident his own sister being sent to the Huns for marriage in order to maintain peace with them. This was the rule made by Emperor Gaozu, the founder of Han, when he realized that it is the only way to maintain peace with the Huns, as Western Han was not strong enough to defeat them yet. However, after two generations of economical improvements during the era of Wen and Jing, Western Han did have sufficient resources for war in the time for Emperor Wu. This gives Emperor Wu enough confidence and decided to take risks on declaring war against the Huns. By making this decision, Emperor Wu get thousands of opposing letters from the senators and wishing to stop such insane and reckless decision. Emperor Wu did not stop the plan, and instead he executed all who opposed his decision. Fortunately, Emperor Wu gained two loyal, courage, and experienced generals named Wei and Huo, who successfully defeated the southern region of the Huns. Furthermore, Zhang Qian found a tribe named Wu Sun, who was willingly to fight with Han, and defeated the Huns thoroughly by attacking them on the north and the west. Since then, Neither any resources nor any women need to tribute to the Huns for peace. After the Huns been defeated, Western Han became the most powerful empire in Asia and claimed itself as the Celestial Empire, which is now the turn of the neighbor countries paying tributes to Western Han, not only expanding the empire's territory. Emperor Wu opened up the empire's vision of international trade with Western region countries, such as Persia and Rome by building up the Silk Road. However, no one in the world is perfect, including the emperor himself. During his late reign, he mistakenly killed his eldest son, who was meant to be his throne successor. Emperor Wu was manipulated by two of his counselors, who conspired on devouring the crown prince by claiming his disloyalty and rebellion against the emperor. Emperor Wu mistakenly believed his two counselors and declared to execute the crown prince and all of his relatives, including the empress. The crown prince had no choice but forced to fight against his father to protect his family from executed. Unfortunately, he lost the war as his military force was not strong enough as his father is. Western Han had sacrificed over 10,000 men for nothing but the mistaken judgment with an evil conspiracy behind which nearly destroyed everything Emperor Wu had been fought for during his reign. I believe Emperor Wu will make a fine example to follow and to be respect of for all second generations of an entrepreneur, since it's him that has the courage and ambition to defeat the empire's strongest enemy and expand the empire's territory. However, he will also remind me of how easily a successful person collapsed into failure as he mistakenly murdered his own son and nearly destroyed everything he fought for during his reign. Power could easily corrupt and blind a person's mind if one's not careful. This is the lesson I learned from him.